Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Alright everyone, today we are going to be doing project two in my baby shower series. I'm going to be building a cupcake stand. So let me show you what the supplies are going to be and then we'll get started with our craft. Alright everyone, so to create my cupcake stand, I could just use some plates and some candle holders from the Dollar Tree and create either a two-tier or a three-tier stand, which I can put my cupcakes in, or I could take some cardboard or even some foam board and create a little stand with that. But, I happen to have these cubicle shelves that I got at Kirkland's a couple of years ago and I actually got them on clearance but I've gone online to check at Kirkland's and they do have similar ones the only thing different is that I can't find the scrolled cut uh, at this time but they have solid ones but they do have these type of uh, shelves there and they do have them on Amazon and of course I didn't do very uh, deep digging on Amazon but I may have maybe, maybe been able to find something that has the same kind of uh, cut on the side Alrighty, so this is a three-piece shelving unit that goes on the wall, and I have these on the wall for a short time, but then they fell off, so then I had them on a table. I think I just had them like this, and then I had this one uh, on top, and then I just placed some things on there. This was on a hall table in, in the entryway in my home, but uh, then I've took, taken them off, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them anymore. But I thought, well, you know what, these could be great for putting cupcakes on if I stack them on top of each other like so. And then I decided that, yes, I can fit two cupcakes here. I've, I've got some cupcakes that I purchased. I just bought four of them just to test this out. And they do fit. They're standard size cupcakes, and I can fit four of them here. And I can actually fit six, almost eight of them here. Another two or three up here, the same on the very, very top. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and put this together. But I'm, I don't want to leave it just like that. Now, if I had this on a table where nobody was going to touch this, this is fine. It doesn't move. I can put things on it. But because I'm going to have people reaching in and grabbing cupcakes, this could shake around. And I don't want to have the chance of it, you know, tipping over and falling. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to hot glue this all together. Now, I could even be even safer and put some screws out from through the bottom and have it all nice and stable but I think my hot glue gun will be just fine and I think it's not only that but if I decide that I want to pull it apart I can sand it down and then repaint it so that's what I'm going to do with this now as I was looking at this one I felt like there's a lot of space here that's going to get wasted so I thought I should do a little shelf here and I should do one on this middle sized one as well so I've gone ahead and I've measured my width uh, not only this way but this way you know how deep it is and then how wide it is on both of them they're both five inches wide and this one was I think ten and seven eighths and this one was like eight and a quarter I don't remember the exact measurements of course if you decide to find some cubicle shelves you'll have to do your own measuring and figure that out on your own now you could use foam board or a very stiff cardboard. I would rather use a foam board because it's nice and thick and it will hold the weight of cupcakes and you could put these in here. But I've gone ahead and had my husband cut out from a quarter inch thick plywood. It's just a little piece of plywood. It's not very heavy at all. And I've had him cut these two sides. Now, I've already tried them. They are a little bit tight in there, but I, that's a good thing for me because I'm gonna go ahead and just push down on it till I get it at the level point that I want. And then I'm going to hot glue from underneath. I don't want to put any hot glue on them and then squeeze them in because I don't want the hot glue to get slid and get on everything here. So I've got these two for my two shelves. And then I've got some spray paint because these are sort of an off-white color that I really do love. But because now I'm adding this in there uh, and then pretty much all the other little adornments that I'm going to use for the baby shower are white. I've got, I went ahead and I got myself some... I hope it's flat white spray paint as the cap here is now showing me. So let's see, did I grab that or what did I grab? Well, it is enamel and it is white. It works on metal, wood, and more indoor outdoor paint. So let's see, it's a satin white actually, which is perfectly fine because the paint that is on here is a satin white. So after I've glued everything together and have it the way that I want it, I'll take it outside and spray paint it. 
So as you know, I'm going to be using my hot glue gun. And of course, I've got plenty of glue sticks here. I also have a package of doilies here because I think it might be cute that once I've got this all put together, maybe a couple of little doilies fold the little edges over so they kind of like overlap down a little bit. They might look pretty, so we'll try that out. And then I'll bring the four cupcakes and put them on here and see how it all looks so that you get a good uh, look at what this display could look like full of cupcakes. All right, uh, let me go ahead and get started by giving this a good cleaning. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, add these little shelves in here and glue them on really well. I, I'm not doing it to this one because uh, there's not a lot of space and I don't want the cupcakes to be, you know, tight in there. Because I do want to put like little stars on the cupcakes that I'm going to make and they're not, they wouldn't fit. Now on this one I could do two shelves, uh, but then again, it's going to be a little tight and I'd rather the cupcakes just kind of just show off. And I'm going to fit as many cupcakes as I can into this and the rest of them I can put them on the table here on the sides or I have another little stands that I could actually put them on so they can grab from that first and then they can grab from the display. Okay, enough said. Let's get to crafting. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started by adding this shelf to this cubicle shelf. And I've got my hot glue ready. I have plugged it in and it's now ready to go. Let's move that out of the way because I'm going to be putting glue from underneath it. What I'm going to do is just turn it upside down. Now my plywood is nice, nice on both sides. It doesn't really matter, but I do like this side best. So that's the part that's going to go up. So obviously it's going to face down in this case. I'm going to put it in kind of at a slant and just center it as best as I can. Let me turn it around now again because I do need to push it down this way. As you can see, it moves very easily. It's best to cut it a smidge wider than um, the actual space in there so that it fits nice and tight. I'm going to take my tape measure just for the heck of it and measure the space so I can make sure that it's level. And not only that, but that I have an equal amount of space. And I was measuring at five and a half. There we go. And there we go. I'm gonna look at it because it doesn't look straight to me, but I've measured it and it is straight. Okay, so this is actually the bottom, and the reason that I'm, I know it's the bottom is because I've got these little hanging things on the back of the shelves where they could hang on the wall, and so that's my upper part, so that I know that this is the top part, so this is the bottom. So now I can go ahead and put plenty of glue in there, and because it's scrolled, I'm only putting it where there's actual, like, the, uh, the wall of this shelf meets this shelf. If I had it a flat, plain shelf with no holes, of course I would just put glue all the way down. I'm actually going to let this bit of glue dry and then I'm going to come back and add some more glue because I kind of want like a little glob so it forms kind of like a little shelf of glue where this is resting on here on this edges. Okay, I'm going to put it to the side right here where my little fan is. So if you hear that, that's my fan going. Now I'm going to do the other one. This is the top. And I've already wiped it down. I think I'm going to give it another little bit of a wipe down anyway. Okay. And the sides look the same, but this one kind of looks a little nicer. So I'm going to use that as my upper. Look at it like this. Got to go a little bit higher. Actually, the design on here is pretty much telling me this is kind of the center, so I'm just aligning it with that. And you can look at it from the side. And actually, that one turned out the same way because this is the center and my design right here. And if you see that little shelf is going right through that center. I'm looking at the other side and it's a little crooked, but I think it's mainly the wood. Let's 
let's see. There you go. You can tell that it goes just a tad bit low on this side, but this other side is level, so there we go. I moved it just a tad, and I'll put some more glue on it. Okay. I'm going to measure it just for the heck of it. Okay, put it down. Oops, I'm in a little... I was thinking it's it's not right, but that's because I had pulled it out a little too much. Now that those are uh, level on each side, and so is this one. Awesome. Okay, so this is my top. So this is the bottom, and I'm gluing from underneath. Just make sure that when you are gluing, that you're not pushing down on this little shelf thing, so you don't have it become crooked. It won't move on you, even if it is just a tiny bit. Okay. Now I'm going to let that dry as well. And then I'm going to come back and add more glue to make sure that I have that nice little shelf of hot glue. And since it's going to be in the bottom, it's not going to show. So if, if I turned it around right now, it would be on the bottom down here. So it wouldn't show. And I'm going to spray paint the whole thing. So that's what I'm going to do. Let this dry, which is already drying. This one's already dry. This one's about to dry. It's turning a little opaque, the glue. And then I'm going to take them outside, spray paint them, and then I'll be back in a couple of hours so that we can put all the pieces together. And then I can create my cupcake stand. All right, I'm actually back before I painted them because I realized what I wanted to do was I wanted to glue all these parts together before um, actually um, painting it. And the reason that I want to do that is because I really don't want to waste any paint right here. And even though I could just tell myself, well, paint over here, uh, I felt like, you know, if they were together, it would be a lot easier to paint it as one item. So I'm just aligning these. But I do remember when I first was putting them together, I had an idea that I would put a little vase here on the side. And then this would go over on this side and I would put a little vase right here with some little flowers so I want to go ahead and do that so let me go ahead and grab those little vases and then I'll show you what I'm gonna to put together and then uh, I'll glue it alright so I'm back and I have these little vases that look like little milk jugs and I thought I could put some baby's breath in them and they could go on these sides here of my towers and I'm also thinking that once I've got them with little flowers and all, I'll put a little bit of glue once I have them on the table, a little bit of hot glue, stick them down so they don't fall off. Now, I could use the space for some cupcakes, but I think it would look cute if I did have some little flowers on here just to make my whole display a little more attractive. And my theme is going to be stars, so I do want to put a little star in there as well in the little arrangement. So I'll go ahead and uh, put that together as well. So let's go ahead and glue these together. And I'm making sure that I do have the backs where these have the little things that hang uh, facing each other. And that I have the, obviously, the top parts already turned over. So I've gone ahead and I have turned these over. I'm going to put glue on the bottom of this one and then set it on here because I don't really know exactly how much space I need. But I'm going to have to work really quick. And I don't want to put it too close to the edge because I don't want it to squirt out, and it might anyway. So work as fast as I can. This is kind of a cold surface, so it dries really quick. You could use some E6000 glue instead and then just leave that to dry for uh, the amount of time that it asks, and I think 24 hours is a good time. I'm gonna align with this corner in this corner and then push it down okay I'm gonna wait a little bit shake it around and make sure that it's not going to come off I'm actually going to add a bead of glue here in the back just kind of a 
And like I said, I'm going to put these doilies on here, so that'll cover that some. I'm not going to worry about it because that's going to be on the table, and this is going to be the back. I'm actually going to put a little bit of glue here because I do remember I, this one had fallen when I had hung it on the wall. And uh, it had come apart, and I just kind of pushed it together with a little bit of glue. And it feels a little loose, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in there. Okay. <laughs> kind of scared to do that, but it's not moving. That's awesome. All right. And you know what? <laughs> I just realized I put the front on backwards, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to take it apart and redo it, and I'm not going to worry about it too much because the high glue will uh, come off of here, and it's coming off already. All right, I took it all apart again, and I'm going to put it back together. I was going to edit that out and just start all over again where I'm showing the little vases and just put it, and then just glue it back again, but... I'm glad that it kind of happened because remember how I told you that this one had fallen and it had actually broken? It had actually come off of this part. So when I was ungluing it, I thought, oh, geez, how am I going to pull this off? So when I pulled it off, this part came off. So I'm glad that that happened because then I was able to realize that I, didn't, I never glued it back together. I just punched it in where these staples are right here. And they go right into the little holes that were already existing on here. Let me fold them back because I had folded them down because they were, I was afraid I was going to poke myself. Okay, so this is the front of the shelf and this is the actual back. So now, because of that happened, I'll, I know now that I need to go ahead and glue that as well. When I put this in here, I need to put some glue in there and then it'll be a little bit sturdier and it won't do that little wobbling that it was doing. So that's a good thing, kind of. And this is the back. I've already uh, established that, yep. I'll have it like this so that I won't make the same mistake. Okay, so I want to put this on here. So I'm going to go like this. <laughs> Let me move this out of the way. I think you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just basically going to repeat the same thing. Put lots of glue and then put it down. And it wasn't that hard to pull apart. I had to use a, a little screwdriver to pry it open. And it didn't matter that some of the paint got peeled off, uh, because some of it did, because I am going to paint it. But other than that, there was no scratches or anything that were caused by that. Okay, let's align these two. There we go. Now to try and align these staples, and if the staples don't align, what I'll do is I'll just pry them out and then just glue this in there. And there's another staple right here. That goes into this little bit here. I don't see the little hole. Oh yeah, I do, now I do. Okay, let me go ahead and put lots of glue in there and then I'll glue the top part. somewhere. Where did I put it? Oh, way down here. There's some glue here and the hot glue gun. This side is not going in. Let's try to remember not to grab on from this one because I'll probably push it off. Okay, so now I'm just cleaning off the hot glue. Remember I had glued where I thought was the back here. Okay. There we go. It's in there. It's not going to move. Okay, so this one is this way. So this one I wanted going on that and so that I can put a vase here and one on the opposite side. I don't want the vases on the same side. Okay, so let's turn this over 
and make sure that I turn it like that when I put it on. I think all that movement around kind of kind of brought out some dust from somewhere. So let me go ahead and wipe that just in case. All right. And I like that I was able to pull it apart. It took a little muscle, but I was able to pull them apart with the uh, flathead screwdriver. So now I know that uh, if I do want to put this apart so that I can put it away because they fit into each other very nicely. Okay, now I can sandwich them. Now if you want to make sure that they have a good bond and you're using like an E6000 glue and you want to keep it as a permanent structure, get yourself those clamps, clap them together and let them dry completely. I'm just using my hot glue gun as you can see because I plan on taking this apart again. Okay, I'm gonna take these outside and spray paint them. I'm gonna come back and decorate these little bottles so that they'll go on each side here so that you can see the little finished product. And then I've got four cupcakes that we'll put on here. I wish I had more, but uh, my husband and I can't eat more than just, you know, four. We can't eat more than four cupcakes. So I didn't buy like a dozen or so. But I think you'll get the idea of how the cupcakes will fit in there. Okay, I'll be back. All right, so I'm back and I decided to sit down for this one. I'm really tired. All I did was go outside and spray paint. I did get some of this spray on my fingers, but I was also doing some of the things around the house. Uh, I do need to go back out after the paint has dried and give the uh, my structure, my cupcake stand, another coat. But I'm going to let that dry really, really well. I've got my two little jars, and I just wanted to show you. These little jars, I got them at the Dollar Tree a long time ago, but you can get any little small vases or jars or even like a little mason jars uh, to create a little arrangement like what I'm going to do. These flowers, I got these all at the Dollar Tree. These are like some baby's breath. And then I've got this one. It's a hydrangea and it's got the blues. And this is a gypso. It's, that's what it's called. And it's just a smaller little white flower. I really like that. I've just got some extra baby's breath here. And I also have this uh, a bundle of flowers. These I got them at uh, Hobby Lobby and I believe I got them at half off the regular $7.99 so I paid $4 for the bunch and I think it's a really pretty flower. Okay so these are the flowers that I'm possibly going to work with and I say possibly because I don't know exactly how much I want to put into these little vases. Now I also went to the store that I, I realize we've had in my in my town it's a little craft store like a little five and dime type of store and they have lots of little trinkets for baby showers uh for homecoming uh, moms which we do here in texas and i'd love to do one of those um videos for you uh, as the summer comes and we're getting closer to back to school and football season anyway so they have these little picks and they are styrofoam stars and they are glittered heavily very nicely and then they had some in the baby blue they had them in both sizes and the, and the two colors but i grabbed a large one in, in the silver and i grabbed small one in the in the baby blue now uh because this is going to be a star theme I, I grabbed more than that i'm just showing you these two but i also grabbed these styrofoam shapes and they're also stars and they're three sizes and I believe this would cost me like 50 cents and this might have been like I don't know 40 cents and these were like 25 and uh, but I will tell you that if you do go on Amazon you can find a uh, styrofoam shapes already cut out in case you're looking for that and you don't know where to find them otherwise uh, you could get yourself a sheet of styrofoam and then draw the shapes out with a stencil or a cookie cutter and then just carefully cut them out with an exacto knife you could do that or just cut them out of cardboard or a pretty uh, stock paper, something, uh, you know, that's got some body to it that won't flip, you know, flop, whatever you want to, however you want to say it. You could just use some cardboard or, or even foam board, uh, but the cardboard could easily be just be covered up with glitter as these are covered up. They'll just be a thinner and then you can just put any little stick if you need to put a stick on them. Okay. Enough of that. <laughs> so I want to do these. So the top one, I do want to put a, a big star on it. And I think on the, uh, the one that's going to be a little lower, I might put one or two of the blue stars. And I want them to be the centerpiece of the, of the little arrangement. So I don't want anything higher than that. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue and I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to 
hold it till it just stays still and if not I can just put some tape across here to hold it in place and that will keep it from moving around. There is a floral tape that you can use. Unfortunately, I don't have any which is perfect because it's a thin little uh, tape, a little green tape that is used a lot by florists. Oh, I turned off my hot glue gun. Okay, let me let it get hot again and we'll be back. All right, you guys, so I had already put these little arrangements together, but I didn't really like the way they were flopping around on me. So I decided to redo them. Um, and um, I had already done this one and I redid it, but I had also put some uh, ribbon on here and I'm just using two different uh, blues here. I'm using a like a cerulean blue and then I'm using this uh, baby, baby blue because those are the colors and I'm gonna be using them all, like this baby blue right here. Uh, now, most of these ribbons, I got them at Walmart. I think I got this one at Hobby Lobby. But uh, the majority of them, I got them at Walmart because I got a really great deal on these. Now, this was a sheer one that says it's a boy repeatedly on the ribbon. So I'm just going to use those just to kind of knot them around the little vase. Now, the way that I had done it is that I had uh, put the little star in the middle. I had put a little bit of glue on the bottom to hold it still, and it was holding just fine. But once I started fiddling around with it, it just kind of moved my little star around and it became unglued. So that wasn't working. So I decided to just go ahead and instead of just uh, putting them in there separately, I decided to create a uh, spray out of them and then put them in there along with the star. So what I did is basically I took the star, the, the pick, and then of course I had already cut out my flowers and the the height that I wanted them. So I took one, uh, these particular flowers here, and if you know what they are, let me know. I think they're so pretty. I used to do a uh, floral design and I kind of knew all of my flowers, but um, it wasn't a requisite because I was working with full flowers, so I didn't need to know the, you know, the care that you do need to know when you're working with fresh flowers. Uh, so, um, but I still pretty much knew all of my flowers. And I don't anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to put the other one opposite. And I'm just going to bend it a little bit as well. Just making sure this is touching the bottom. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put this one in there as well. And I'm using this, uh, this is a floral wrap tape. That you can use to wrap around. And it becomes a little sticky once you pull on it slightly. Don't pull on it too much. You'll tear it. So just pull on it a little bit and that'll cause the adhesive in there to be released so that it'll stick as you wrap it. And I just press on it with my fingers as I'm wrapping it to make sure. And as you see, it tore off very easily. Okay, so now that I got these two on, each, on either side, now I can put the other stems on there. Okay, whatever I put on one side, I repeat it on the other side of my spray of, it's basically I'm creating another little bush of flowers. And then I kind of bend them a little bit forward so that they're not all like clumped up right in the middle. So I bend the stem just slightly. So if I put it on there, it's just going to be flat up against the other uh, item. So I'm just going to bend it a little bit. All right, so here we go. Let's continue. I just saw a little something fall off of here. So I think I'm going to have to, yeah, on this particular one. Put a little bit of hot glue to get that back on there. Okay, it fell off of this stem here. So let's slide this one back in, and then there's a little little tippy thing here, and that'll get glued, and then it won't slide out again. All right, there we go. Let me. This is my the front of my vase, and I want my star facing forward. So gotta make sure these aren't bent too much because I want the bottom here to touch the bottom of the vase. That looks good. Okay, now I'm gonna put these other two on there. And I'm just gonna push them in between 
the other ones. Tape it down. Okay, and then this one got done on this side, so now I'm going to do it on the opposite. Just tucking it in there. Okay, so before I put this in the base, I'm going to just tie around the ribbon so that you can see how I did this other one. It was very simple. I just cut a little, uh, a bit of length of ribbon and knotted it. So I put this one first, and I'm going to cut it a little longer than I think. And this is the design on here where that's kind of embossed on here. I can feel it. I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, it's only on that one side, and I want that to be the front. So I'm just going to tie this and knot it. Okay. And I can leave it like that, but I'm also going to add this It's a Boy ribbon. You cut about the, about the same length. I could just trim it. Let's move that out of the way. And I'm going to go under it and tie it. Oops. I'm trying to do this so that you can see what I'm doing, but I don't know if you can. So I'm, I'm knotting it under, or tying it the first time underneath it, and then I'm going to bring these guys forward, and then bring this over, and then knot it up here, so that it's holding on to the other ribbon. And there we go. And just like that and then we can put that in there I'm gonna put a little bit of glue I don't think it'll really do that much of a you know difference but I'm gonna put well not a little bit I'm gonna put a glob of glue so it'll form a kind of a stand in there and there we go oops there we go so now it'll stay in place. Of course, if I pull on it, it'll, easy, it'll easily come off. But there we go. I've got two little arrangements. I'm going to put this one up higher. I could put more picks. I do have a lot of them. I did buy extras. But I'm going to do other arrangements and other things with them. So I want to make sure that I have enough. Uh, but if, um, if I do have any, I might put some more in here. I do have this cute one also with this little baby kind of a ornament or a little sticker that was put on some foam or cut out. It's just a cut out of a little decoration and then they stuck it on foam and then they cut the foam in the shape and put it on a little pick. That's all they did. So you can easily do that. These can also be put in here and I think they would look really cute. Uh, I don't remember what I got these for. <laughs> so I'm going to wait and see and uh, if maybe I got them for these arrangements. I don't know. But look how cute that would look in there as well. Anyway, uh, these are my little arrangements. I'm going to go check on my tower, my cupcake tower outside, and give it another uh, coat if it's dry, and then I'll be back in another couple of hours. All right, so I am back. My little display here is now all painted. It is dry. I can smell a little bit of the paint, uh, but if I left it outside a little bit longer, I think it would have been okay. Um, I've gone ahead and brought it in because I want to go ahead and... Uh, decorated for you so that you can see what I wanted to do with it. So I have these doilies here and I tell you about this package at the Dollar Tree. Uh, there's 32 and there's a whole bunch of little papers in here which I thought I'd use for the shower. Uh, I was looking at this larger one because I thought this would be great on this bottom shelf here and then I could just fold it and fold it and then um, if I had to I could put a little uh, dollops of glue there and that it would stay like that. Uh, I think it might be a little big because it does kind of fold up on the sides here and maybe it's a little too long for when I do put cupcakes down here. So I'm actually going to go with the next size over which would be this one right here. Let's see what size are they. Oh there's a 12 inch, 8 inch, no actually this is a 12 inch, 10 inch and then there's an 8 inch and six inch and there's eight of each one so I've got a pretty good number so I'm gonna skip this large one 
because I think this um, 10 inch one, these are all flying away because I've got the fan on my display here. I think this this one would be good here and then I can just fold it and crease it. The same over here. And then if I wanted to, I could actually put one on the bottom as well. Actually, this isn't the size, it's this one here. I could put one down here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this fan around so it doesn't blow the paper. Okay. Put one down here in the bottom. That will look pretty. And then the next size over is this, let's see, it's this, uh, yeah, because I do have an even smaller one, a six inch, and this is the eight inch. Okay, I had already separated these. Let me get some that are separated. Here we go. Let me give it this one here. And again, I can just do the little, I can do a little crease and it'll bend over. I could put a little dot of glue there, maybe some double stick tape. And that'll keep it nice and folded down. I'll do one up here. I think that looks pretty. Makes it look, you know, lacy. And then we did a small one up here. And I don't have to worry about folding that one down. And then one at the very, very top. And actually at the very top, maybe... This next size over, let's try that. Yeah, that would actually look kind of cute. And then we just, again, we do that little, little uh, fold so that uh, it stays down. I'm gonna put this one forward a little bit. There we go. All right. I think that looks really nice. Of course, I'll move the camera around on it at the end so that you can see the whole thing. And then we've got our two little arrangements that I made with little stars. Uh, I've just gone ahead and pushed some of this over to the side so that it's not hitting up against this. And then I can place it and then I twisted the ribbon because I had put the ribbon dangling down on this side. I just twisted it over, just brought it from one side, twisted it around, so it's actually hanging on the other side. Put that right there. And then the other one up here. Okay, let's see. There we go, right there. And that looks really pretty. All right, so then I've got some cupcakes here, and I only have four, <laughs> because my husband and I would probably eat them all if I had gotten any more than this. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> so excuse me if my display isn't really, really complete. But I'd like to put some in the top. And that fits really well up there. And then, of course, I can bring some right in here. I have room for another one here and then two more in the back. So my idea was to put four here, four here, two up here, and probably two here. How much is that going to give me? Let's see. Two, four, and another, uh, let's see, four, that's eight, another four, that would be 12, and then I think I can put six here, and six on the bottom, to give me a total of another 12 here, so maybe 24 cupcakes, if I count it right, yeah, I can get six here, six here, that's 12, and four is 16, and another four is 20, 22, 24, maybe 26, or maybe even 28 if I snuggle them in. Now, the cupcakes that I'm going to make are going to be about this high, but they're also going to have a little, a little star on top of them. So I wanted to make sure that there was enough room for that, and there is. And then uh, when someone reaches in for it, it'll be easy to grab, and it won't get smushed or hit. So, of course, I don't want to put too many in there. I don't want to bunch them up too close together either because, you know, there has to be room for fingers to go in and be able to grab. But I think this will work out just fine. I'm going to put this one down here just, just for looks. And there we go. My cupcake display tower. I don't know what to call it. Cupcake tower is what I'm going to call it. Okay. 
So that's what, uh, that's it. That, it is complete. I can just imagine it with all the pretty little uh, cupcakes that I'm going to put in there. I bought some cute little wrappers for the, the cupcake. Oops, I almost knocked it over. For the cupcakes, I actually bought um, a brown paper bag color for the actual cupcake where it's going to get baked in. Uh, because I am going to add some burlap and colors like that in the shower. Uh, but then I also bought another one that were low, just the wraparounds. You just wrap them around and they kind of like interlock into each, into each other. It's a little cardboard. But it's got this little laser cut, like a filigree cut, like the sides here. So that will match that and of course it will match the doilies. So I think they'll look really pretty. They're going to have blue uh, frosting and a little white star on them. And so that'll bring a lot of the color in. So you'll see lots of baby blue on there. So I felt like I didn't need to put the, the blue hydrangeas in the little vases. I think that looks perfectly fine, just the way it is, nice and simple. So I'll bring the camera so that you can see it a little bit better, a lot closer, but this is it. I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope you too will give me a big old thumbs up. Leave a nice comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I will be posting Tuesdays and Fridays and pretty much all crafts during the month of February. So make sure you also share on your social medias and as always, enjoy.